So give it up for my friend Luis Rodriguez. Thank you everybody. Thank you for your patience. I would love to work with Laura Wells, Alan Brown, David Curtis, anybody who's going to stand up for what we need in the state of California. So it would be great to work with all of you. I do feel that we need to really make a move that has not been done in this country before, in the state. And that is for one to clearly and definitely say there should not be any more poverty in the state of California. Yeah. Definitely, just say it's got to end. That we can have our schools, the best schools for everybody, open to everybody, where everybody can learn. Yay. Instead of being the lowest. <clears throat> where we can have unionized labor, people working and getting paid properly and getting the minimum wage high so people can survive and go beyond that. I think it's about time that we dreamed big and did something big. That's what I really would like to do. And my hope is to be in this, not just for me personally, but again for all those voices that Laura was talking about, the people that don't get heard, they get put down, the women in our state who are not being brought into the leadership. We need to bring them into the leadership. As well as all kinds of people who feel that they just are so marginalized, nobody's gonna pay attention. So I want this campaign to be broad. I want it to be open. I want it to bring in all, as many people as possible. I want us to think about even our mothers and our, and our abuelitas, our grandmothers, everybody to participate. Everyone. Because one of the things that I find is that I get to go around the state a lot. I've been speaking in prisons. I go to prisons. I was just in San Quentin twice this year. Saw that prison, Lancaster. I also go to Juvenile Halls. I was uh, in the Silmar Juvenile Hall, which people may not know, is the largest juvenile lockup in the world. And I'm sitting there, a thousand kids, and they invited me to speak for their graduation of only 30 of them that are graduating. And I'm gonna tell you what's really sad. Most of those kids, are getting ready to do life sentences 25 years to life. This has got to stop. This has got to stop. When we have a society that cannot bring out the best in our youth, that cannot draw out their gifts, their imagination, their dreams, that cannot give them resources and talents, and, and all we do is give them prison because they can't afford to survive any other way, that's got to stop. Right. Gotta stop. So, gotta stop. I'm really... I'm really excited about doing this. I am going to be seeking the, the Green Party nomination. It's not a given, but I'm going to do everything I can. I need your support. We're going to need your support. Um, anybody's interested, Eddie Alvarez will have a list for anybody to sign up. He may have one already. Also, any donations, we will take donations now. Uh, we have a committee to, um, to elect Luis J. Rodriguez for governor that we're going to set up the whole count, everything. We're going to really take this seriously. Um, my wonderful wife Trini is here. I have to acknowledge her because it was brought up here. Chuchas is a space that we help create. We really don't own it, just so you know. It's a nonprofit. It's owned by the community, but me and her had the vision. We work with others to make it happen. And it's very important for me to acknowledge her because this place wouldn't exist without her energy, her vision, and her hard work. So uh, I have to make sure that she's properly uh, recognized. Uh, so I don't want to say too much more because we have so much to do, but I do want to say the campaign is on. Yes. And we're going to work with all of you to make sure that your voices, your interests, your concerns are part of this campaign. I'm very um, interested to make sure that we can articulate the issues and we have facts behind everything we say. So one of the things we're going to create is a think tank. Well, I don't, we can call it something else. That may not be the best word. But the best word, but a place where we can put the best minds to resolve all these problems that are besetting the state right now. Because everybody talks, as Laura says, but nobody's got an answer. Can you imagine? Everybody's talking and nobody can really figure it out. So we're going to figure it out. We're going to make the state work for everybody. We're going to put a plan that nobody can deny. And when they deny it, everybody will know they're nothing but liars and thieves. And that's why they're denying the plan that works for everybody. So I want to end with a poem because I do have poetry. I am a poet. And uh, we do have books for sale. But uh, the main thing about the poetry to me is that in the midst of all this, we got to have more poets, more artists more yeah. dreamers, more dancers. We need to have arts in every community. We need to have it in every yeah. neighborhood. 
uh, I get very upset that LA, the entertainment creative capital of the world, there are miles and miles and miles of neighborhoods where there is no bookstores, no art galleries, no culture storefronts, no movie houses. And we have to change that. Everybody should have access to the arts. Because I do believe in one very important statement that a complete human being is a complete artist. And that's where we want to get to, where everybody is an artist at some form, some level. So I'm going to read you a poem that I wrote about leadership. Because leadership is everybody's purview, everybody should have it, and we need more leadership. We need people to step up, like you said, the women, people who haven't been heard, we need them to step up and be leaders, and we need to support them, because leadership means community. Leadership doesn't mean ego, doesn't mean power, it doesn't mean you're better than anybody. It just means community and people who best represent it. So I'm going to read you a poem I wrote, and it's called When a Leader Comes. And again, thank you for the little bit of time I have, but thank you so much. <laughs> when a leader appears, the earth springs into song, <clears throat> flowered with new hope. A bright beginning, even from a terribly seated past, where dust and stones are a bare sowing ground. Wise ones have long declared leaders are people who see further and feel deeper. Such leaders know there's a design to our lives braided with threads of the future. We don't just make history, we are called to it, just as the fleeting or slanted become solid and direct. Aspiring to be a leader, you become a leader, turning what's possible into what's next. Not just creating a nest for oneself, made of familiars who agree or keep one comfortable, not just basking in the spotlight or the imagined power, but by cultivating character, courage, discipline, and humbleness, Leaders carry the sacrifice with grace. Always remember the unrecoverable moments with loved ones, with family, while also giving to the whole, even at the expense of one's own time, one's considerations. All proper sacred sacrifices are rooted in the sacred. Blessed and cursed, loved and hated, seen well or lied about, no leader can escape the human energies that both destroy and lift up. Yet true leaders are matched for this challenge. There is a leader seed planted before birth and carefully nurtured by angels, by, by elements, by the alignments of universal sway. You feel this in the bones. Somewhere the message is, I was meant to be here. Yet, as deeper truths go, leaders see further and feel deeper. Just like the rest of us, only more turning time into learning, into passion, into revelation. They bargain with God for how to be in this world, learning for learning, passion for passion, revelation for revelation. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Does anyone have any questions for Luis before he takes a seat? Uh, Mike Feinstein, anyone wants to get on stack? I want, okay. I want to make a comment. Because like, I was explaining a little bit more about what Louise wanted, what Louise, who Louise is in the community. And my sister and I have both gone to the Achuchas to express ourselves on open mic every Friday night. There's an open mic that starts at 7, 7.30, which I recommend for you all to go out there if you want to get to know a little bit of, of the San Fernando Valley and in particular that part of the community. And a lot of you, you all are welcome there. Um, Anyway, I just wanted to share that my mom wanted to comment and wanted to thank Louise for allowing that space uh, to be there for us to share our work. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay, Mike. My name is Herminia, by the way. Her name is Herminia. Herminia, gracias. Thank you. Thank you. Louise, so there's a debate in the legislature right now. Jerry wants to depopulate the state prisons by sending people to private prisons to respond to the feds. Uh, Daryl Steinberg is arguing for some alternatives. How do you weigh in on the issue? What would you do if you're governor? Obviously, one of the biggest problems we have is we have the largest prison system in the world after the federal prison system. We have the lowest education numbers, the lowest arts numbers, but we got the largest prison. This is wrong. And I want to tell you something. You cannot punish the issues that people are dealing with. Most people are in prison because they're poor. 
because they can't survive, because they're hungry, because they need treatment, they need help, mental help or job help or any kind of help. So I would say that I would propose that we get all those billions of dollars in the prisons and put them back in the neighborhoods, put them back in the hands of these young people, put them back in training and skills and jobs and clean environment, green environment, make sure that people are working for a clean, safe world. And that's where we will put it. Any more money in prisons is a waste completely. And I was supportive of the hunger strike, as you know, it just finished. We supported them, but we also told them that we would take on the next part of the battle, that we would fight for them everywhere we can. Thank, Thank you. you.